it's not even real to me still that we're going. And we are so proud of these girls. This is a great update to a story that we brought you last April. You may remember this and like others, a local competitive cheer team had to shut down following the pandemic. But after nearly a year of virtual workouts and just recently being allowed to practice indoors, the group persevered and is on their way to the cheerleading world championships. ABC's 10 News reporter Nate Holmes is highlighting their journey, showing what it means to be positively San Diego. We had to just figure out ways and different things to do to keep ourselves conditioned. This is video prior to the COVID-19 shutdown. With nearly 80 young athletes and the uncertainty of coronavirus, the Pacific Beach All-Stars had to cut their 2020 season short. Virtual sessions with the teams became a norm. We still couldn't really function 100% at what we would normally do as cheerleaders. The main thing was keeping the kids engaged and not wanting to quit. After months of not being able to practice or compete, the cheerleaders finally made their way back to the gym, but with some changes. The type of sport that we're in, it's really hard to, you know, learn how to keep your stamina with a mask on. The Pacific Beach All-Stars recently joined forces with the San Diego Show All-Stars, forming a new gym. Two of their teams virtually qualified for the cheerleading world championships in May in Florida. Going to Worlds will be their first time actually being in front of a crowd. It's like my 11th season, like cheering. And I'm like, wow, I'm going to Worlds. It's going to be with the best of the best. And... That in itself is just such an amazing experience. This is the first time a new gym in San Diego has made it to the championships in over a decade. Although it's been a tough year, the athletes say the pandemic has brought them closer. We have a team that everyone just loves each other and we have been pushing and pushing so hard and we earned, we earned our spot at World. Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News. And this really is such a huge accomplishment uh, for those young men and women. The coaches say they are continuing to follow health orders, like having the two teams practice separately and frequent testing. Every day, ABC 10 News highlighting the good in each other and stories that show our resilience and strength. We love doing these, so if you have a story that is positively San Diego, please send us an email to tips at 10news.com.